to everyone. So today I'm going to go over the pearly cards um, in the pearly deck in general. This is one of the new decks that's coming out in the new set, which is Cyberstorm Access, which is coming out in like early May. Um, so definitely worth having a look at. I think the, the notable decks that are coming out are Super Heavy Samurai, um, Manadorn, and then this deck. This deck is the best deck I think that's going to come out of these sets because I think everyone's going to be on a draw because of how much everything loses the draw. So anyway, we're going to go through the cards. Um, so at the top we've just got 10. These can be anything. Go set and cards. Um, you know, if draws in the format, you can put draw in there. These are just literally placeholders for now. Next we've got the uh, Dark World engine. Probably going to end up on 3 Snow instead of um, 3 Brow. So basically all these are is, um, well, well, we'll show you why these will later on. Um, one for one, because um, we're all level ones. And then we're going to go into the spells. So first of all, we're going to start off with the My Femme Pearly. Play 500 Life, reveal three pearly cards from your deck to your hand, except this one. Your opponent apparently randomly picks one for you. So basically, if you've got three in the deck, you can pick three and you're guaranteed to get that one. Um, if there's a pearly monster XYZ, please feel because of an opponent's card. Uh, even during the damage step, you can add three pearly quick play spells with different names from your graveyard to your hand. So this just gives you infinite follow up. Um, so a gold one, this is obviously huge. Then we're going to go into Delicious Memory. So these are basically like the um, almost like the runic cards. So they all have this same effect discard one card, and if you do, um, special summon one pearly XYZ monster. Uh, so session one pearly monster from your deck and then a pearly xyz monster made with this card gets its effect so the delicious memory gives them 300 attack and defense um then obviously it's got another effect choose on one on the field and until the end until the end of the next turn it can show by a battle and after choosing card you can apply the following effect so you've got to like you know you've got to be able to do that um then we have the uh sleepy memory so we're just going to go with the quick plays now. Uh, apply this effect. And if you do, discard one card. And if you do, special one level one pearly monster from your deck. Once applied, the next battle or effect damage you take this turn becomes zero. A pearly XYZ monster that has this card has material gains. The effect, once per turn, during your opponent's standby phase, you can draw one card. So that's pretty good because you can stack multiple on. You can draw multiple cards. Now... If you use the trap, which I'm actually just going to put in right now. Um, if you use a trap, you can make another XYZ with this trap card. And then you can like trigger this again. So it's pretty good. Um, then we're going to go on to another quick play spell. So we got the happy memory. Uh, choose one card in the field. And until the end of the next turn, the first time will be destroyed by a card effect that is not destroyed. After choosing a card, then you can apply the following effect. Uh, discard one card and if you do special one level one pearly monster from your deck a pearly xyz that has this card as material against following effect this card can attack monsters a number of times each battle phase up to the number of pearly happy memory attached to it so yeah this, this is going to start facilitating a lot of otks um we have memory uh, each player gets a thousand then you can discard one card and if you do special one level one pearly monster from your deck and then it gets its other effect. Once per turn, you can send one of a card you control to the graveyard. Then target one card your opponent controls. Attach it as material. That's pretty good. Then we got the street, which is the field spell. Your opponent cannot target pearly ones as the turn they're summoned with card effects. That's pretty good. Um, once per turn, if a face of pearly X is even a material monster. Uh, leaves the field because of an opponent's card. You can special one level one pearly monster from your deck. Then another broken effect. Because obviously everything has to do like three things now. So it stops them being targeted. It summons another one. And then during the end phase you can attach one quick play spell to an XYZ. So that's obviously going to be this one. Because that gives you another draw. Uh, so we've covered the hand traps. The discard engine. One for one. The continuous. All the quick plays. And the field spell. So now let's go into the actual pearly monsters themselves. So we have um, the normal pearly, normal the special, excavate three cards, and if you do, add one of those cards. And then once per turn, during your main phase, you can reveal one quick play spell. 
special one XYZ monster from your extract that mentions that card, then you attach the quick player to the pearly. So this is all like this is all gonna come a lot um, more obvious when we get into the combo hands. Uh pearly normal to special, add one pearly card from your deck to your hand, except a quick play spell. So basically you're gonna add the pearly here or you're gonna add the street. Uh, then you can target one quick play spell in your grave special on one XYZ monster that mentions it from your extra deck by using this face of card. And if you do, attach the target to the special monster and treat it as XYZ material. That, and now we're going to go on to the trap. Uh, you target one pearly XYZ, you control special summon from your extra deck, one pearly XYZ monster with a different rank by using that target as material but return it to your extra deck during the end phase in the next turn. This is treated as an XYZ material, uh, XYZ summon, transfer the materials to it. Then you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target up to three pearly monsters in your graveyard, shuffle them into the deck. Um, so now we're going to go over the extra deck. Zeus, everyone knows what that does. Downed, everyone knows what that does. Um, then obviously the links, these are just arbitrary at the moment. They're all, um, it's basically just like an OCG deck, which is obviously the best thing we've got to go on. Uh, we've got Assembled Nightingale. This is um it can attack for the amount of materials and you can attach material until the end of the turn level less monster you control you cannot be sure about battle up by card effects so basically it's just like a zeus uh fodder and then we've got a sylvan card which i didn't play when it was popular but i know it's good uh you can detach one xyz material from this card and then excavate the top card of your deck uh, and if it's a spell or trap, add it to your hand, otherwise send it to the graveyard. You can send one other plant, plant monster from your hand or face to the graveyard, then target one silver monster in your game in some minutes. So I would assume this effect doesn't come up very often, uh, but the detached to like excavate a card probably does come up quite a bit. Uh, then we have the, uh, the blue one. Um, so to summon this one, you have to use pretty memory um because basically the gimmick with these cards is to have a level one on the field and you cheat out the rank two on top of the level one um so once per turn you can target one effect monster your opponent controls and get its effect until the end of the turn this is a quick effect if it has pearly pretty memory on it um up to thrice per turn when you activate a pearly quick play spell card you can attach that card on the field to this card's material then you can change the battle position of one monster your opponent controls um, you're going to start to see a bit of a theme between these cards so then this one is two level two so you never summon it like that um, can sum this someone summoned with delicious memory uh, once per turn you can target two spell trap cards in your grave attach them to this card's material this is a quick effect if this has delicious memory um, up to face per turn when you activate a pearly quick play spell card quick effect you can attach this card as material uh, then you can banish one once on field to the end phase so that's going to come up pretty pretty often then you got the x pearly noir uh, you can also xyz material uh, xyz summon this card by using a rank two monster you control with five more materials transfer the materials this card um, while it has five more materials, you can detach two materials from this card, then target one card your opponent controls, place it on the bottom of the deck. It's a quick effect if it has a level one pearly, so it's basically just blocking you from using it in other decks. And then the last one, the happiness. This is with happy memory. Uh, at the end of the damage step, if this card battled, you can add one pearly card from your deck to your hand. Also, if this card has pearly happy memory, as material, you can half the attack of one face and one on the field up to thrice per turn. When you activate a pearly quick play spell card, quick effect, you can attach this card, and, you know, so it's the same as all the other ones. Um, and obviously that's going to pair up nicely with the uh, OTK machine. So uh, let's get into the, into the games. Right then, so <clears throat> you can't <clears throat> you can't use this one 
uh, like so like in the draw phase. So we're immediately thinking about playing around draw because we've previously discussed it's going to be quite big in the format. Now you can't use this one in the draw phase because it says um player spec the video says one once but next battle damage you take this oh okay so you, sorry you can use this one in the draw phase it's the um it's the other ones that you can't so you can use this one and this one but you can't use the other ones um because they require you have ones on the field so this one uh you gain a thousand uh oh, well we'll just put down that's a thousand uh and we're going to summon out uh this one and it's all in draw phase so we're playing around draw and you get the effect of this one and that's going to add the field spell oh sorry we need to discard off this so we'll discard the ash uh then we can use um this one to then discard probably has to be see this is why you need discard engine because it gets really tough uh discard this one to summon out the this pearly now obviously what we're saying about the ones where you have to have uh, so this one like says choose one once on field obviously with this one you um you could once you summoned your first pearly you could then use this one in the draw phase because you've got monster now um so that's that one then we can uh use this effect so we can excavate top three then add one so we can add this one then we want to get into this one the plump so that's delicious memory so now what we can do is we can go into the main phase uh we can use this so now they can't be targeted um activate the pearly self effect and then you could pick the delicious memory the delicious memory and the delicious memory so you basically guarantee a delicious memory uh, then you can use its effect um to gain the attack so you could use the effect to gain the attack but what we're going to do here is we're going to use this effect which lets us xyz into this one and then we get to oh no the dbs have my life here so then we can uh, attach this because we've used the pearly effect to attach this to it then we can use um, this effect uh, to attach two materials to it. Attach these two. Uh, then we can use um, this effect to overlay into this one and then this can attach to here and now because we've already used the pretty memory and obviously we drew multiples this um isn't enough to get into the uh five mat one because you need to activate another one we probably could have done it if we'd have played around draw um i don't think we could have actually because it wouldn't have worked because we wouldn't have had a material underneath this but anyway basically if this was another one so i'm just for the sake of um sake of proving a point basically i'm going to get one that we haven't used so delicious right so we haven't used happy um so what we could do is we could activate happy on this card here basically and then this would then you could use this to attach to it um, then you can overlay into this. Then in the end phase, uh, you can use this. And then that's going to attach the sleep memory. Then when it comes to... Oh, 
DB. Well, obviously it was me and my fault, but still pretty rough. Oh. So that was under, right, we're just gonna, f I don't want to. Right, so forgive me for this. So this has now got two material on it. So when it comes to standby phase, because it's got two sleeping memories on it, you get to draw two cards. Then um, you obviously got this effect to keep declaring and putting stuff back to the bottom. Then you've obviously got this effect to um, negate as well. So that's the general principle. I'm going to come up with like an updated um, combo guide and stuff in the future and probably updated lists and all the rest of it. But uh, this is the principle, the card by card, everything you need. I hope it helps a lot. Cheers. Bye.